Hopefully. Hopefully we can get this run here, because... I, we, I, you know, I guess the total amount of time elapsed on this is really long, even though we've only attempted it twice. Just there's been large gaps in, in the attempt, so it's taken a little bit longer. We're going to go with the timer, like I was saying earlier, you guys. If I could start it? Oh, shit, wait. The fallen leaves. Okay, there we go. That's going to do us the worst boss ever created? I don't think that's true. I disagree. I think, uh... I think they've there's worse bosses in the game. That gods can do well. I just realized that, like, my camera's, uh... That's probably better. That's probably better. Oh, and my HP is still. Actually, you guys want to see something interesting? Watch what happens if I... So I'll set myself to 1 HP. Watch what happens here. You just get the insta cutscene here. Obviously, it doesn't affect anything on this run, but... Because I, I forget when we were talking about this, but I think last stream someone was talking about like why I had you had to die before Scion or something. But if you enter that boss arena or you enter the boss fight with one HP somehow, which isn't actually possible normally. But if you did it, then yeah, you could have a, an actual hitless run, like a full zero death, zero hit run. But it's not really possible. Unfortunately. Yeah, classic dude. Fromsoft just did it to make sure that there would never be a true zero hit run in the game. NG plus you could, yeah. Like NG plus, you could just go and you you don't have to actually have to walk in with one HP, right? You could just use like Seppuku in the boss arena. Yeah, you don't die, but you get hit, right? In order to actually get to one HP, you have to get hit. That's the problem. What's up, uh, Mad Magnux? How's it going, dude? Yeah, Deathless Run is possible. Yeah, Deathless Run is possible, but a true no-hit run with no deaths is not possible. Yeah, self-poison would work, too. Just any way that you could get yourself to 1 HP without actually getting hit is fine. There's also been a lot of comments on the... Maybe not a lot of comments, but I've seen a few times on the YouTube videos of, like... I don't know if people are... are or they, they are basically pointing out that it's like... For example, this run, right? We're using the Moray's Executioner Greatsword, but we use the Uchi for, like, a long time up to that point. And people... I don't know if they're upset about it or, or what. I think they're just not understanding how this works at all. But you, I can play turning wood to aid you. You need O to the foot. Then it's summon me. Ah, I bequeath. Just zip after you kill the Scion. Imagine if there was an actual legit hitless way to do it and we just don't even know about it. I did do both of Grand Sacks, yeah. And it was really bad for no hit. It doesn't mean it's a bad weapon, but it's really a bad it's a really bad weapon for no hit any percent at least. <clears throat> Start with stone sword keys. Uh, there's no there's no stone sword stone sword lock there. Yeah, I think you're thinking of um. Actually, totally forgot that we need to buy. Charge on this. You, you, I think you're thinking of like the spot after. Ooh, 
Well, it's just, yeah, the Ash of War of the Bolded Grand Sacks isn't useful in boss fights for the most part, and... And, yeah, it's just, it's a, like a spear, and it doesn't do much damage, so... Just for a safe zero death run build. I mean, you could use whatever you want as long as you're leveling up HP. You're probably fine. <laughs> yeah, just, just simply don't die. Yeah, that's the area. You get there only after you die to Scion, right? What's my opinion on Mika's run? I think it's pretty cool. Close to impossible? No, I, I don't think so. Like, a, a run like that... Runs... I, I think runs where you don't have to reset... Are, like, almost always possible unless they're absolutely just totally insane. And that's, like, that's pretty close to that, I guess, but... I don't see any reason why that would be actually impossible. I mean, she's already pretty far, right? Uh, Rev, thanks for the four month resub. Welcome back. I mean, I guess we'll see. We'll see how, um,. How far she gets on it. So certain bosses will obviously cause some problems. Hello? Can you hear me? Help. I don't think that's a, a, something that I would ever Hello? try to do. Oh, but at Moog already? I yeah, I, 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 I mean, I, I don't see why it would be impossible, but not obviously not easy. Ouch. How's it going, Kaza? I honestly can't remember. Probably like, so <laughs> I don't know, I... long time ago. Yeah, I, I actually cannot remember. Surely it wasn't yesterday. <laughs> Just only would be, would be impossible? No, I, I, I mean, I think... Just only all bosses is for sure possible. Like, zero doubt, right? There's not a single boss that I think would be impossible. Or even close to impossible. But if you're talking like a no-hit run, then that's way different. Then I think... I think a fist no-hit run would be impossible for a human to do. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't, I don't think... Like, dance pad plus controller on two different games... <laughs> like, obviously that's insane to do. It's a... Big... It's like a crazy idea. But I don't think it's impossible. I also don't know all the rules for that run that she's doing. Like, I don't know if you could just evade on one and then fight on, like, the controller one, for example. Like, fight on one instance while you're just trying to evade on the other one and then just do that. I, I would assume that that would be the strategy, though. Uh, Savina, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. I appreciate it. And, uh... Bank Fitness, thanks so much for the 100 bits, dude. I appreciate it, dude. I'm not going to get attacked by a mosquito now because of that. Had to hide on Ranala. Okay, yeah. If it, like, I think if, if that's allowed, I think about a boss like Millennia, right? Where if, if you were actually fighting both at the exact same time, it'd be insane. But... Um, yeah, if you could just evade on one and then fight with the other, I I don't actually think that's too difficult. Yeah, it just depends on the rules, like I was saying. And uh, Dark, Dark Monkey, thanks for the nine month uh, Prime resub. He 
Gideon actually hard about a dodge. And Gideon is is a piece of trash boss. I like he's horrible. Yeah, imagine, dude, imagine dodging waterfowl. Yeah. If she dies on one. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. That makes sense. I just kind of assumed that. But uh, no, obviously that that runs like crazy impressive. But I I I don't think it's impossible. Uh, will an Elden Ring zero hit league exist? I think so. I think that's the plan. Uh, Sharks, thanks for the the brand new prime as well. Thanks so much, dude. Yeah, I think I think there is plans for an Elden Ring zero hit league. Uh, at some point. Even rotate. Yeah, there's like. Depending on how you set it up, there's like, yeah, you can change the camera and stuff, rotate the camera, but it's definitely not easy to do. Yeah, she's already, I, I don't know how long she's been doing it for, but uh, already on Moog is, like, that's moving along pretty, pretty good. Crazy how many, um... How many people do those challenges on Dark Souls games, man? Is that you always see people with like random controllers or I don't know. It's very common it seems. Let's go on Arum. Oh, rotating waterfowl? I'm sure it's possible, but it would be insanely hard. Yeah, steering wheels, bananas, and like, you know, everything you could think of probably. There's a lot of people who that's that's what they specialize in. They they beat the games with these like insane controllers. I just realized the cam's kind of delayed. <clears throat> that's three weapons. Um, probably iron balls and then like serpent hunter and then after that I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those two. I'm trying to think of other good stuff that we use, but I, I'd have to go through a list to see. There's definitely more good stuff. Is that the torch. Uh, that's the torch for the um, for the beasts. It's the beast torch. Wow, I really can't see. <laughs> There's like some insane glare. Oh god. Actually can't see right now. Uh, let me fix my cam because it's kind of delayed for some reason. Oops. Uh... Yeah, imagine not picking up the leaves, dude. Well, yeah, we are going to do a Twin Blade. Like, I think the last run's a Twin Blade run, right? Okay, we should be good now. Yeah, the, the last run is the... I forget which Twin Blade it is, but it's one of them. Anything in the game that kills Fire Giant better than Pest Threads? Mm, I don't think so. I, I can't think of anything. I cannot think of anything. Oh yeah, the pole blade. Have I done pizza swap? I have not. Arian Grander one shots fire giant. Well, <laughs> well, not really. Carry and Grandeur with a trillion buffs, one shots Fire Giant. And then a lot of things come very close as well, if you're going to use all that buffs, but like no one's actually going to do that. Is a Vilk? I'm drinking some tea. Yeah, we're going to have Eleonora Full Blade, but the request. Uh, specifies that I give myself all of the multi-attack build right away. 
And so I'm thinking that'll be decent at least, right? Is there a settings video or for what? Do you, I, I don't know what you mean. You mean for the Elden Ring game settings? It explains them? Oh, really? A Charge R2 setup? Huh. Oh, my settings? So, I mean, I'm just... I, I play on medium settings. I guess I could play on higher, but... But I, I don't have a video explaining it. But I I just recently... Oh, I guess that up back on. I usually have that off, too. I don't know how that all got messed up. Because of all the save files I load. I don't know. I, it's not... Something that's that important. Are the torches for the beast? But on the on that incantation run, there's only there's only two bosses where I actually used the dancer charm, and it actually did something. It's only physical damage. I, d I don't. I assume I didn't have it on, or. Uh, I assume I didn't have it on for, like, Elden Beast and stuff, right? <clears throat> yeah, save file saves your settings as well. So, yeah. Yeah, Starfist is... <laughs> yeah, Starfist is really stupid. Yeah, my controller... Yeah, my, my controller binds are all default. Oh, shit, I, I'm just going to go back here. I totally forgot we needed the uh, poison. Yo, Marowak, thanks for the, the five-month prime resub. Welcome back. Yeah, happy holidays to you as well. There's a lot of five-month resubs, dude, today. What happened five months ago? Something happened five months ago, man. I don't know why I have so much glare right now. This I, I usually don't have a lot of glare, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. The last time I streamed was five months ago. Surely, dude. Can't even see where I'm going. Oh, was the oh the subathon? Oh yeah, I think you're right. That's probably it. Uh, the, the cookbook I just picked up was poison for the fetid pots, which I need to kill Gideon. Sleep pots are in Limgrave, which I, I already picked up. Yeah, I, I stream uh, usually like the past... Since it's Christmas and it's holidays, everything's been messed up, but usually I stream at 11 a.m. Uh, six days a week. That That's probably going to, I mean, that's probably going to change, though. Or it, 11 a.m. or around that time is going to be the same, probably always, but just the days I stream might change. Have a good rest on Wizard? Uh, I think so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm not. I'm still not fully back though, you guys, because there's still. Yeah, I mean, there's still like New Year's and stuff. So we're not fully back to normal, but almost, almost. But come January, especially mid-January, I'll be completely back to normal, like six days a week. Uh, Jukats, thanks for the brand new sub. I appreciate it. I don't kill this guy, right? I think we just get uh, seppuku, but I need to remember it. Yeah, so I'm not sure if I'll be on tomorrow. Tomorrow's the 28th. I think I, I should be. Maybe in the morning. But what's nice, though, is that at least now I'm uploading YouTube videos, so it's not... Um, it's not like nothing's happening.
Like, if you, you can still go watch the YouTube videos, even if I'm not streaming, so. And I do, so I've only been really uploading these runs to YouTube so far, but there's, uh, there's, there's a lot more plans that I have. Like, there's so many videos that I want to make. It's just a matter of, um, of doing it, so. Stovepipe, thanks for the 60 month resub. Welcome back, dude. Uh, the bow strong just because I was uh, I was using mighty shot there. Yeah, if you do, I think there's exclamation mark YouTube, man. Yeah, I've, I have a lot more plans for that. I just, uh, yeah, it's just a matter of actually having time to upload them. Edie and I are going to be uploading the co-op run. That's the plan. So I talked to her a little bit about that, and like I think that'll be really cool. Although I completely messed up last stream because I accidentally removed her. <laughs> I, I didn't. Uh, what did I do? I muted her 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 talking during the VOD track by accident. And so on my stream, like you can only hear me and not her. But I, it's okay. We'll like figure it out. But yeah, so there's that. I'd probably make a no hit any percent tutorial for Elden Ring at some point. And then I think once we're done this bet, I'll make some sort of like highlight video of all the 40 runs. Why am I? Dude, I'm, I'm kind of on. <laughs> I don't know what I'm on here. I'm on autopilot, but it's not good autopilot because I'm so... It's been like five days since we've run this, so... Yeah, who am I even talking to, dude? Any opinions on heavy thrust weapons? I've never actually done a run with those. Um, I've used them for casual a little bit, and I, I think they're really good for PvP especially. For Serpent Hunter? Uh, I could, I guess. Oh. Of course, this still happened. I totally forgot this happened, dude. Yeah, I could make... <laughs> I, I probably wouldn't make Serpent Hunter tutorial though, but I could. Like I obviously could. I'd be more likely to make, especially since I um recently taught the route to somebody else, the Iron Ball route. I mean. So and and somebody. Somebody was watching that and they made really good notes for it, so I could include those as well. Yeah, Serpent Hunter Serpent Hunter is not the best the best thing to know hit the game with, in my opinion, at this point. It's obviously really good, but I would uh, there's better weapons than it. No, it's not the best, though. Like, like, what do you mean requires nothing, though? I don't know what you mean by that. Because a lot of people say, yeah, it has no stat requirement, which is, is decent, but... That's not really a concern. Unless a weapon requires, like, 50 strength or something, or 50 dex, right? Especially in this game. You don't need to use weapons that have no stat requirements. It doesn't really do anything. True, I, I do think the balls, yeah, I think the balls have some downside. But I would still highly recommend it over Serpent Hunter, probably. Greatsword? I don't know if Greatswords are that good, though. We've used, uh... I mean, this is the second Greatsword we, we've we used. Um, for the, the, like, this challenge, and... Artificers was good, but not because it was a Greatsword, but because of the Ash of War. But even then, it's not, uh, it's not like the easiest thing to use. Oh, Jesus, dude. Uh, broadsword, broadsword is really good though, yeah. I haven't read it a run with the broadsword, but we did a run with the cane sword, which is horrible. It's basically a bad, a, a really bad version of the broadsword. And even the cane sword was still really good. 
Oh yeah, get it. No, I would not. <laughs> yeah, getting Ordovis is great sword is really hard to do. That might be one of the hardest weapons to go actually get. That only requires one boss. Yeah, Rikard one, yeah, is decent, but I, I think if you're gonna go do Rikard, you might as well just use a Serpent Hunter, right? But Yeah, you definitely could uh use Blasphemous Blade. Oh nice uh Dark Ally. Can't figure him out. Like the the iron ball kill on him, you can't figure out. I was on RL1. I've, yeah, I've never tried. I imagine they're still better than Serpent Hunter once they're maxed out. But I think on RL1 for an any percent no hit, you might run into the issue of just not um, having like basically maxed out weapon early in the game. That's the biggest problem with them, right? Is the Smithing Stone. Especially when compared to the Serpent Hunter, just any somber weapon that before fighting any boss, you're already at plus nine. Yeah, if he's not doing the jump attack, that's probably just a distance thing. Also, if what you can do, if you want, is go kill patches for the shackle. Right? And, and then you just get the guaranteed opening every time. You just walk in and shackle him. That's actually... I, I think getting the shackle is a totally viable thing. Or it's a totally... Uh, like a legitimate option for no-hit run. If you want to check out... if. If you check the um, Ordovis Greatsword run, got the shackle because I I wanted the shackle for the like one of the dungeons that I went to go get the sword in. And so you can kill patches really easily at the start, and then you get the shackle, and then you just you can fully script Margot and Morgoth. And and that's really nice to be able to do that. I, I do have a feeling they're gonna nerf the fist though, man. I'm like I'm I'm not certain they're gonna do it, but I think it's a it's a decent chance. But I'll still make the tutorial anyways, and then if they do nerf it, it's fine. Like we can just make another There's so many weapons, right? There's so many viable weapons in this game. Which is really cool. Yeah, no worries, uh, Dark Ally. I've even considered it on these runs, but it just... The reason I don't is because it just takes... I don't know. How much time does it take? Maybe three to four minutes to go kill him? It's really not that much, but... No, there's no way they're going to nerf Serpent Hunter, I don't think. I'd be very surprised, but... I also didn't think they were going to nerf Flame of Red Mains. Mainly because it... They didn't nerf it for so long, and then they did, so... Yeah, maybe they'll make it, like, dagger poise damage, and then... It would still be good, though. But just not... It'd be much worse for no-hit, for sure. Yeah, I just didn't think they were gonna nerf red main, because of, like... When, when everyone started using it, I thought they were going to. But then they just didn't, so I, I just assumed they weren't going to. Because I, I figured they must have known about it. And then they just decided that it wasn't... Or maybe it was as good as they thought, or they as good as they wanted it to be, and they were just going to leave it. Uh, my favorite strength weapon... Um, I really don't know. There's a lot of cool ones. I like the big hammers with line claw, though. Let's go get... Or wait, I don't have to... Yeah, that was the sorcery run. I had to kill that boss. I'm kind of actually getting mixed up with the sorcery run. No, definitely not the Serpent Hunter. I think the Serpent Hunter is cool. But it's not that cool. It's just okay. Yeah, if, if they put Flame of Red Mains to 30 poise damage, I think that's totally reasonable. That's what I, that's what I would put it at. That's what I was saying. If... I was saying if they nerf Flame of Red Mains, it should be 30 poise damage, so that way you're not, you know, always breaking boss in two hits, but it's three hits, and, and that's a big difference, right? 50% more. I 
<laughs> What's up, Zoltan? Yeah, that's it. I mean, FromSoft nerfing stuff, sometimes that's that's just how it is, right? Sometimes their, their nerfs just aren't really... They don't really make a ton of sense, but... It's probably partially because... I, I actually don't know. Maybe just the way that we're playing the game isn't really how they're thinking that something's going to be used. What's up, Devastator? But it's hard to, yeah, it is really sometimes hard to understand what they're thinking when they nerf something. Or, or how, you know, how they intend for it to be used after it's nerfed. Or even just when they created it, how they thought it was going to be. Because, yeah, 40 poise damage on, on an Ash of War that's fast and has range. How does that happen, right? How, how could they not have known that that was going to just two, two shot poise break, tons of the boss in the game, and maybe... Maybe they made it, and then they just... There's a ton of Ash of Wars in the game and tons of weapons, so maybe it just, you know, got through the cracks. But... But then they nerf it. I don't know. I don't understand. Oh, yeah, no. I, you're totally right, Gumbo. I think, I think Flame of Redmane and Beast Jaw... They, they definitely needed to be nerfed. But just not... With the Beast Draw, I actually think the Beast Draw nerf was okay. I wouldn't have done it in the same way. But even when I was doing all boss no hit, where I used the Beast Draw all the time, right? I used it for... You know, once we were past all remembrances, I used it for basically everything. What I was saying while attempting that run was that if they nerf it, they should just make the FP consumption and stamina consumption way higher. So that way, um, it's just not as spammable. And if it's not spammable, then it's not that good. It's still good, but it's not that good. But what the route they went with with the beast job was to make it just deal zero poise damage now. It went from 33 to 7. And so now it's still spammable, but you're just not going to be able to stun bosses where you get a gigantic opening where you can just, you know, do that. Which I, I think is fine. I like I actually think it's a fine nerf, but I, I think I would have done it a bit different. But Flame of Redmane, it it does it does average damage, I'd say. Um, like it does decent damage, but obviously the reason why everyone used it was because the poise damage, and I I think it would have been fine to have high poise damage, just maybe not that high. Yeah, Square Off R two does a lot. I I really hope they don't touch that, because I love Square Off a lot. I don't think I definitely do not think Square Off needs to be nerfed. Or I just, I, maybe I just hope it doesn't because I like it a lot. But it, I don't think Square Off was on the same tier as Flame of Red Mains, though, because it wasn't as fast and obviously it doesn't have as much range. Have a timer? Yeah, I, I, I did the timer because I saw some YouTube comments of people saying that it'd be nice to have a timer, so. I usually don't use them, but I can. It doesn't really change anything. Maybe they wanted plus seven. Yeah, surely that's what they wanted. They wanted the 40 poise beast jaw, dude. Of course, so that you can two shot stagger everybody instead of three. Did all bosses again? I would definitely not use beast jaw. Oh, 100% I wouldn't use it, yeah. Yeah, because the whole point of the beast jaw on all bosses was that, you know, there's... We have the, the poise tier, right? Just 30% more poise damage, and then basically that would allow me to two-shot stagger a lot of bosses, and then if not, it would be a three-shot stagger. And so what I could just do to a lot of the bosses was sneak up on them, and then just beast jaw them, and they would get stunned, and then I could just repeat. But if they're not getting stunned, then it'll still... Like, the beast jaw never did really high damage. It does pretty average damage, I would say. It's just that you can poise break everything so fast. So yeah, there's no, there's actually no chance I would use it though. If I was to reroute all bosses, which I probably will at some point. I mean, we're gonna do more all bosses, no hit runs. So. What's up, uh, algebra? Well, 
the saw. Oops. Like the Beast Claw Great Hammer? I've never used it. But what's interesting to me, though, is that, you know, they nerf stuff like Flame of Red Mains and the Beast Jaw, which I, I think need to be nerfed, but there's still other things in the game that are are completely busted. Probably more broken than... Although the, the Beast Jaw, maybe not, but definitely Flame of Red Mains, right? Like certain spells that are way stronger. That are still untouched. But I, I, I think the, the main thing with, the, with Flame of the Red Mains is that it doesn't require any investment. For it to be strong like you could just put it on something and then it automatically does the 40 poise damage and that's all you need it for whereas something like the beast jaw or comet azure builds or i don't know the other things that are really strong they need you need to like specifically build around it Exactly. That's that's what I was saying, uh, Vanto. When they nerfed it, I, I was saying it would have been really cool if the poise damage of it scaled with either your... Like, it would be your upgrade, I guess, is ma what makes the most sense. So once you hit, like, a certain upgrade threshold, then you would get, you know... So maybe it starts out at base 10, like it is right now, and then you get it to plus, I don't know, plus 6, and then it does 20, and then so on. I don't know if that actually makes sense. Plus 12 would be 30, and then... I, I I don't know, but... Just something like that. And that way, you have to put it on upgraded weapon, and then it's crazy strong. But that's because you invested into it already. Strong stuff that are available, and... Available early and without much restriction. Yeah, maybe, but the, I wouldn't say the Beast Jaw if it's in there, right? Beast job was extremely hard to get. How's it going, Erdbeer? And I I mean, yeah, Comet Azur uh is really high intelligence requirement, right? So it, you can get pick it up early, but you're not gonna be using it effectively until a bit later. Um Although there's also Night Comet, I guess, right? I don't know. It, it's not I, I think we're um when you think about FromSoft nerfing stuff, I, I actually do not think that they think about it as much as we do. I don't think they consider all the things that we're considering. Yeah, I guess you can poison cheese, you're right. That is true. If you want to sit there for like 20 minutes, but... You could. But what was actually interesting to me too is that we did the one uh, randomizer race that I participated in with like Chris and, and Josh and Ain and stuff. I forget when that was, but a lot of them found the beast jaw. And what was interesting to me is how hard of a time they actually had because they didn't have the right setup. I don't know why this keeps happening. I actually was purposely standing a bit off to the right, and then he jumped to the right, so. Let's go on Baryon. I, I really don't understand this guy, man. I don't understand him. Which weapon would I say is the strongest in terms of how early? Uh, easily the Iron Balls. I mean, the Iron Balls, uh, you can get at the very start of the game. You just have to kill, like, a, an NPC, right? Uh, Devastator, thanks for the brand new Prime sub, dude. I appreciate that.
Yeah, I think uh, the iron balls are, you get it right away. What's up, uh, Smoogers? I, I really don't know why this has been happening to me lately, guys. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to do the thing that Bree and I was doing. I, I should have tested it more. Maybe I'll make a safe out here really quick, but. Um, what we were testing was if you stand off to the right side of the sentinel and then attack him early. And then you force him to jump, but there were some issues with it, I thought. But. Yeah, what's cool is that there's probably so many other setups in the game that we haven't used for these runs that are really good. And I, th I think it's way more fun when there's a lot of really strong stuff versus a lot of trash stuff and then, like, one good thing. Get the race closer to Sentinel. Well, it, I, it should be first try, but it just recently, for some reason, I think it's been three times now where he's jumped to the side and it totally ruins the strat. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if I've been messing it up or if something's actually wrong here or something got changed. I don't think so. I think I, I need to test this a bit more, so I'm gonna, I made a save here. I think that's all it is. And there's probably a lot of factors like the positioning of the boss. And I, I'm not throwing the knife at the same spot every single time. because it's kind of hard to do that. And that's probably part of it. Maybe there's a better spot to lead him. Let's go in Sower. Or maybe there's a much better spot that I could take the boss so that... I'd more consistently get him off the edge. Because there's no reason why it has to be right at this spot. But there are some... I don't actually know what it is, but... There's some... If you try to do it near that statue, for example, the boss will actually just teleport away. Don't know why. But here the teleport seems to not really ever happen. But let me try this other thing here. Yeah, so, okay, so that's what we were testing with Bree in that. I mean, if this does it every time, it's really good, but I can't remember what it was. But sometimes that wouldn't happen. But I don't, I don't know what would happen. What's up, Benny? Okay, so let's go to round table. We need to go get the long sword. Let's go on star. Forgive me. Long sword's what we used for Elmer. It seems torrent, whereas I may there is, but I can take you. gathering very at my hand. And the broadsword's better, but it's just more out of the way. Unless I, I could start with the, uh, the confessor or whatever, but it's okay. Dodges to the left and doesn't fall off the hill. If, if he dodges to our right, then he goes into a spot where, yeah, if you, if you get the stagger, like he's just way too far away from the, the cliff. <laughs> Gabriel, thanks for the, uh, five month resub. Come back. No, that's not how it's working. <laughs> we need that, that. We'll get that. That one. I think, yeah, the Confessor base armor might be my favorite in the game. Let's go on Panda. But no, the bet right now, I'm just kind of, I'm going to finish up the 40 runs. But it's if I don't do it before the end of the year, it's not. Like, I'm not gonna have to do anything for that. If I if if the bet was still going, what's going on? Uh, I meant if the bet was still going, I I would have actually streamed a lot more <laughs> than I did, because I would have tried to finish the run sooner. Well, the vow's good. Plus twelve is good. I can't remember if I leveled up for all this stuff. I actually don't think I did.
That is literally the dumbest question I've ever seen in my life. That is actually the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life right there. I, I've never seen anything dumber than that. In my entire life. Um, I can level up a little bit, maybe, but I don't think I have to. Uh, Benny, thanks for the... Actually, you know what's funny? But yeah, thanks for the brand new sub, by the way. What's funny is that I somehow just knew... Like, that's my, my streamer instinct that that was gonna happen, somehow. <laughs> like, I don't know how, but I just knew. Streamer instinct, dude. I knew that something really dumb was gonna be... was gonna be asked right there. This run much different than Regalia? Um, it's actually not that different. It's pretty similar. Okay, here we go. So, I think... Let's do maybe... Did I try Charge R2? Is that going to be too much? I think a tap works. I think I did a tap last time, and then... Tap. This one. This one. If I know it's going to work, I... No point in changing it. <laughs> miss the fun. Yeah, I actually... It's so rare that people get banned here, but... I'm just... I'm not feeling like... Uh... I don't know. Dealing any with anything today. Not the time for it, dude. It almost never happens. Like, usually, usually if somebody asked something like that, I would just, like, I would keep them around and everybody would make fun of them for a while and then they would probably get banned. But usually what happens is somebody does that and then they either actually apologize later because I'm just, like, clowning them or they just leave and then never come back. It's actually usually what happens, but I just, I, I just don't have the energy today, so <laughs> I don't know. Maybe next time. Oops. How's it going, Domo? And, uh, Jeff, thanks for gifting the sub to Paletto. Thanks so much, dude. So yeah, we killed Bernal. A lot of people in my in the YouTube comments have been asking why, like how the Bernal thing works. But we kill Bernal, and then once we join Volcano Manor, then his bell bearing, which we already picked up, will give us access to Assassin's Gambit. But you have to join Volcano Manor. You can actually give the bell bearing and then join Volcano Manor, and it still works. But it, you just you have to kill him before you join Volcano Manor because. He will move and then you can't kill him anymore so then the only two ways is to kill Rykard to get a shop or you have to do the quest line and kill an npc to open up his shop and so yeah that's why we do it like this i was going to prison by the way i don't know if i said hi um Bernal's dead Oh, you had a good Christmas, dude. Damn. It's mean. I'm so excited for the, the all the runs I've got playing, you guys. Consumable only no hit. It's gonna happen pretty soon, and then we got like all achievements no hit. Those two runs, I'm I'm looking forward to those. Consume my balls, no hit. Yeah, of course. Game side quest. I've actually never even done all of them. I was like, I was kind of working on it on that other character we're doing, but oh, we go for the somber seven that's here. We got that. So once we join, then we can just go to round table and. buy it yeah my my dlc copium character exactly i really hate how fromsoft do like quest lines man i think it's really unfortunate because yeah a lot of them are really cool but then just the way the quests work in these games i like they just don't flow well in my opinion at all ng plus three uh you only have to go to ng plus two i believe 
Uh, but yeah, that's what I would do. Put this on. Okay, so now I think we're actually just ready to go. And but. Yeah, I think there's uh, the three achievements. Easy to, yeah, that, I mean, that's, I think it's almost impossible. Or I, I've never actually done it. Maybe I've never tried, but I've never actually completed a quest line completely blind in a Souls game. That's always how they've done their quest lines. It's always really, it doesn't flow nicely at all. You gotta, you know, you talk to an NPC and then you gotta go rest and then you go back and talk to them again and then you rest and then you talk to them again. And then like you go to the next area, you gotta rest again. It just, it, you gotta reload the area. I don't like it. And it's always been like that too. And then there's like very specific uh, like triggers for quests as well. And it's very unnecessary. <laughs> I've been pretty good, Paletto. Yeah, you do need a lot of rest, I guess, yeah. It's, if you guys know um, when Roger dies and then you try to get his armor, you have to talk to him and rest, I think, like five times. And then and then just randomly you get all the gear in his, his rapier. It's so stupid, dude. Yeah, repole. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it. I, in my opinion, that's actually the weakest part of FromSoft games is the quest lines, or, or just the the flow of the quest lines. Because I think a lot of the quest lines are actually pretty interesting. It's just they're not fun to do. I, I can't think of any that has been fun to do. But on all achievements, I don't know if in this game you have to. In Dark Souls 3, uh, well, yeah, of course, we're going to have to do some of the quest lines or like endings. So I guess, yeah, we're gonna have to do some of them. But I, I actually, the rainy one's pretty interesting. Just, again, it's sort of that. They've all got the same issue. No, you do, you definitely need the rainy ending, right? For all achievements. And then other than that, other than that, I, I don't know if there's any other achievements tied to quest lines, like if there's any legendary weapons or something. No, I've never done fat roll no hit. Still don't think I need to level up yet. Yeah, that yeah, exactly. Fat roll, fat roll, no hit is sweat, be sweat territory. I, I don't, I don't infringe on his territory, dude. Yeah, well, a lot of those, so when it comes to the endings, there's only, like, there's not an achievement for every ending.
I really botched that fight. That was not good. All right, we got the sword. Yeah, that's not great. A Serengin. I, I'm sorry for mispronouncing your name, but thanks for the brand new Prime sub. Appreciate it. Yeah, dude, I almost did square off in the shield explosion, but it's, it's kind of weird. So he, when he does that shield thing, um... When he does that shield thing, basically if you're if you're behind him and then he queues it up, he won't do the follow up. But if you're in front, then he probably will. So that's that's like that's how you know it, right? Difference uh between the bell bearing hunters. Uh in terms of wait, why am I it just took fall damage there. That's interesting. Wait, what the hell is going on here? What the hell? Let's go into reflections. Yeah, but there's there's not a difference in moveset between the bell bearing hunters, I don't think. Just some of them are tankier than others. I wonder how I took fall damage there. And how did I miss this jump as well? Yeah, now that now that there's a um some of the YouTube videos are getting like quite a few views now. Um there's a lot of people who aren't really familiar with the rule set of no hit runs, even though obviously I have the rule set in the videos, or in the description at least. But I've gotten quite a few comments of uh you know, you say this is a no hit run and then you immediately get hit by lava and then invalid and stuff. Unreal. But yeah, if anyone's confused, no hit runs, environmental damage and, and fall damage don't count as hits, so. I... Ah, oh, we're gonna need to go get more cuckries, dude. Because I messed up the tree sentinel kill. I've got two... I mean, I could try to save some, maybe, but I don't have any sleep pots, though. I can go get some, I guess. It's actually worth it so that I don't have to go and go to weeping to get the buckries there. Also that you're not then why not I am Carlin. Goodbye. Just make a couple. Uh parrying perfect parries are allowed on no hit runs, yeah. Blocking's not allowed. Sari looks so cool, man. Yeah, I, I saw that he was doing that. I haven't actually seen any of the fights yet, though. Oh, I really like the different camera setting for this. That's nice. My camera's not, like, randomly rotating when I don't want it to. Oh. it It's actually... It is messing me up a little bit, though. 
Okay, come on. Get up the rock. Frame trap by Godrix wins. That is not surprising at all. You just got like 10 wind blasts coming at you all, at all times. Sounds, yeah, that sounds really bad. I don't even know why he's doing that, but this will be cool once he finishes it. Maybe it'll, like, hopefully that'll make a good YouTube video. Oh, dude. Oh, I cannot believe I just did that. And it's not even the first time I've done that. And now I just totally messed up this too. Oh boy. Okay, well. That's what I get. believe I've done this. Are we one hour? Because it's counting real time, but I actually don't know how it's an hour. Well, because we killed Elmer, right? That adds quite a bit of extra time. Actually, I'm going to have to go and get more of these. Yeah, right now in the run, we're just, we're getting our uh, upgrades. So we're going to get our summer seven. And then after that, we have our plus nine. And then we're going to start killing bosses. Excited to play Bloodborne? I am not excited. Although I, I'm interested to see on on PS5 how much better it is performance-wise. Okay, so let's go here. I can't believe we're gonna have to go get more puckeries, dude. <laughs> Actually, can't believe it. It's, it's, it's not definitely not the first time. All right, plus nine. Let's um, let's just go get them now, I guess. Well, yeah, Bloodborne, it's not that I don't like the game, but it's definitely my its my least favorite FromSoft game. And on top of that, it's on console on 30 FPS app, so it's really not a good combo. Yeah, and, and then on top of that... Um, being on console, practicing for no hit runs on consoles, 20 times worse. And so it, it actually does make the no hit process just take a bit longer. You can't practice as easily, and it's just, I don't know. It's not fun. Where am I going right now? <laughs> I'm like lost or something. Patch Summer 7 jump. They they actually did patch it a second time, yeah. 
They patch it twice. The first time is what made it very difficult to do, and then after that, um, then it was like impossible, yeah. It is kind of funny though that they, they patched something and it was still possible after they patched it in the exact same way too. It's not like the um, Ordina skip, which by the way, I believe is still in the game, but where, you know, the, there was the easy version, which everybody did, and then um, and then they patched it, but then we discovered a, another way to do it. It wasn't like that. It was, they patched it. They, they made the ledge smaller, so you, you know, they thought you couldn't jump on it, but you still could. And yeah. Zero emotional damage. Or it allows for emotional damage. You get emotional damage from the song, is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, it's, it's the Ever Jail puzzle thing. Or it's not, you just have to light the lamps or whatever. Okay, so we are plus nine. 23 arcane. And I think we usually just keep our strength the same. You just gotta get to that arcane. Oh boy. What is going on here? That's interesting, I guess. Should easily have enough here, though. I don't know why we'd be that short. Gotta sell some stuff here. Trying out Soulsborne games, play Bloodborne, didn't like it. Yeah, no, I, I, in my opinion, as I was saying earlier, Bloodborne is my least favorite FromSoft game, and it's, it's not only because it's on console and stuff. I, I, I think the main thing I don't like about it, I'm just not a huge fan of the like aesthetics of the game personally. Well, obviously that's just a that's just a matter of opinion. But I, I also don't like how the bosses go, and again, that's just a matter of opinion as well. So that, that's, I mean, that's how people can like it, but then I don't. Even though I'd say overall. I, I think probably out of the FromSoft games, it's the most, at least from what I've seen, it's the most commonly, um, it's most commonly people's favorite FromSoft game. Don't like London? Yeah, I guess I don't. But no, it's just not my preference, I guess. I would love to use uh, Red Feather, or not Red Feather. Um... would love to use flame grant strength right now but i i need two extra faith stats so yeah and i i think you know the good parts about the game i like how the weapons are i'm not blown away by them but i think it's probably the it's among the coolest weapons you know overall the weapon quality is the highest in bloodborne i'd say but you know the downside of that is you don't really have that much to play around with there's only like 12 weapons or something dare you survive that. Uh, my favorite FromSoft is this one. Ve like, very easily. It's, it's actually... I, I don't even... It's not even really close. This one's easily my favorite. Actually, you know what? I'm pretty sure in the routing runs, we didn't actually get Flame Grand Strength for these uh, parts either. I'll get it. I'll get it before Godric, though. Oh, I almost made a big mistake right there. 
That'd have been really bad. Let's go on Hunter. Yeah, I mean, after Elden Ring, it, for me, DS2 is my second favorite. And then after that, probably... Uh, I don't know. I guess DS3. Yeah, we use Flame Grand Strength for this weapon because, I mean, it, it does magic, but it's not that much. Oh, that's a great idea, Paletto, dude. How have I not uh, thought about that before? I like Sekiro a lot um, for a first playthrough, but other than that, I... Uh, I, I, I don't, I haven't really thought it's worth replaying again in the past three years, which is why I have not played it since the it came out, basically. But I really, no, I, I, I like the game a lot. I think it just, the fact that there's, um, like the bosses are, I think, overall the best out of any boss that they've made. Just the game's not very replayable, and that's that's a big thing for me, actually. The more restricted a game is, the less likely I'm going to like it a lot. Or the less likely it's going to be one of the, you know, one of my favorite games. This game's like the exact opposite, right? With the open world, you can go anywhere. There's so many bosses to fight. So many builds to try out. Yeah, they actually have Aziz. Yeah, they um they buffed Mortal Draw. They haven't patched that game that many times, but you know one of the early patches was Mortal Draw buff, and then everybody just started like spamming it. Um, what am I doing here? Yeah, the trick weapons in Bloodborne are really cool. I actually think that's the best part about the game. My favorite build? I don't know, man. There's a I I've enjoyed a lot of the builds we've used so far for the uh whoa. For this challenge. Some of them I haven't liked so much. Um I don't know. The spell the spell spells are so much fun. I really like using spells in this game. I think they did a really good job with spells in this game. Sekiro 60 FPS. Is it not already 60 FPS? Or do you mean Bloodborne? Bloodborne 60 FPS would make the game a lot better. Yeah, the bubbles are uh, the bubbles are so much fun to use. Yeah, sorcery is, is fun. I like it. It's fun to use things that are really OP sometimes, you know? Yeah, and incantation. I, I think I actually liked incantations more than sorcery. But, you know, with that run, we only used three or four incantations, right? We didn't actually use all of them that are available. So I'd be interested to try out more of them eventually. a storm uh yeah we kind of did but it actually wasn't nearly as bad as it was made out to be or it was like supposed to be i don't think we got it that bad here compared to other places Alright, so let's go get 
Um, flame Grown Strength now. Might as well. Any run in particular was very hard. Um, yeah, so... The Halo Scythe, and so just for Elden Ring, because we've done the most Elden Ring runs for the bet, although I did do some DS2 and DS3. For Elden Ring, the, the worst setup we've used is the Halo Scythe, just undoubtedly. Probably the second worst was the Bolt of Grand Sacks, and then past that, I can't really remember. Yeah, there's some pretty bad ones in the other games too, though. Shield, yeah, Shield Crossbow and Dark Souls 2 was just atrocious. Get the 40 runs. Uh, No, we still got four to go. How's it going, uh, sports, by the way? Welcome back. Uh, Eleanor Poleblade. So that, that's going to be the last run we do. And, and when that is, I don't really know. It kind of just depends how much I stream in the next few days or the next week, because... I'm still sort of not going to be back on my normal schedule until January. So things are a little bit, things are, things have been a little bit messed up. So if there's people coming here from like YouTube and stuff, normally I do stream at 11 AM EST six days a week, but yeah, cause it's holidays. Things have been kind of messed up, but we should be going back to normal in January. That's the plan at least. But you just never know what can come up, right? Like sometimes you just got some things to do or whatever. Uh, buff Golden Vow. Yeah, we've got Golden Vow on the, the dagger here. No, it, it stays, yeah. Only, only weapon buffs don't stay. So a buff like, I don't know, Resins or Warcry or something. Yeah, we are going to be doing the God Run 3, yeah. So the bet the bet initially was going to be if I don't complete the 40 runs, then I have to do the God Run 3. But I had this sort of side incentive with like a sponsorship we did. And people hit the goals, so I'm doing the God Run 3 anyways. Because, yeah, we... Um, right now, we're actually on, on very bad pace for the bet. But that's because I basically didn't stream. I streamed like twice in the last two weeks. But, uh... Yeah, we were on insanely good pace. We we had 35 runs done midway, or even before midway through de December, I, I think. Um. Yeah, so uh, like we've been we've been at a, a, basically a pace of a run every. I don't need to get anything else, do I? I don't know. I had I think I had 35 runs done in about 50 days, which is easily enough for. You know, we started this in November, by the way. So two months to do 40 runs. To run every day and a half. And we were like easily on faster pace than that. And uh, yeah, but for the for the God Run 3, since I already have to do it, I kind of slowed down on the bet and I didn't want to stream as much. Because I was going to do it anyway, so. But yeah, God Run 3 is exactly what's in that command. Seven, It's the seven Soulsborne games no hit in a row. All in a row. So it's from Demon Souls all the, all the way up to Elden Ring. Only two people have done it so far. Um, but of course, Elden Ring's only been out for how long? I guess, I don't know, 10 months. But still, I mean, that's still a pretty small amount of people, right? Dino, Bushido was the first one, and then Dino was the second. All right, let's get the Faith, and then I guess Strength. What we want. Yeah, so I'm basically, I the reason why I took so many days off, I, like I said, I would have been streaming more if the bet was still live, but now that it kind of doesn't matter, just wanted to take a bit of a break, you know? What what game would I say is the, the easiest to no-hit run? Um, There actually are some pretty easy ones. It might be surprising to people, but a lot of the any percents are actually quite simple. We're going to switch to this, and then I want to make sure I'm not mid-rolling. Okay, got to unequip that. But the easiest, I don't know. There's there's some pretty easy ones. I, I, I think it's it's very safe to say that Dark Souls 3 is the hardest. I, I don't think any of them come close. I haven't no-hit Demon Souls yet. Mark, that's what we're going to do very soon. 
Um, oops. Nice one. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of them, I would say, are pretty similar in difficulty. I would say Bloodborne, Sekiro. Sekiro might be... Sekiro could be the easiest, potentially. And that's probably because it's the shortest. But, yeah, you got, like, Bloodborne's really short. Sekiro's really short. And, and I would say a, a, a run being long... It, I don't think it makes it harder to be more consistent, necessarily. But if you're trying to get the run for the, for the first time then a run being long makes it harder. So, yeah, if you're, if you're you know, trying to do your first no-hit run, doing Sekiro or Bloodborne would be one of the easier ones. But in terms of, like, actual difficulty, Dark Souls 2's got to be one of the easiest as well. Even though it's, it's one of the longer ones. I have to immediately go for God Run 3 in January if... I'm slowing down. I don't know what you mean, Aram. No, I've, I've actually never played Demon Souls, but we are going to be doing that um, at the start of next year. So pretty soon, like in the next two weeks, probably. How many one hit runs? Probably not many. Probably less than 10, I bet. Because if I get hit, I reset, so. I think it's been a long time since I've done an actual one hit run. But yeah, for me though, the easiest no-hit runs are by far Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, and Elden Ring because th those are the games I've played the most. Um, the other four games, Dark Souls 1 is kind of in between. And so the order of the games that I'm going to do the no-hit runs in for the God Run 3, it's going to depend on which one I'm I'm the best at, right? Or which, I, I'm going to basically make a, a I'm going to order them from worst to best. That way, um, that way, I'm kind of just optimizing my chance of getting the run sooner. Even though, overall, it's the same likelihood that I get the run on any given attempt. It it just means my resets don't take as much time, basically. If I'm getting, if I'm doing the games that I'm bad at early, and that's what you do for no hit runs usually, right? You do this, the the bosses and stuff that are the most dangerous as soon as possible. The exact same idea. So yeah, we would end off on probably it would be Dark Souls 3, I think it would be game 5. And the reason for that is the early game can be dangerous. So that would be game 5 most likely and then Dark Souls 2 and uh, Elden Ring would be 6 and 7. And then Dark Souls 3, Dark Souls 1 would be game 4 most likely, but of course that could change and then uh Yeah, the first 3 games can just I don't know. Doesn't really matter the order, I don't think. That's gonna be the hardest part, is just getting past the three games and then. Yeah.
Okay, let's go to Redan now. Yes, Kiro no hit is is very fast, and same with Bloodborne. They're both very fast, and it, it's not even fast in that the the potential of how fast they can be done is is really fast. But just generally, it's not that fast for no hit runners. It's everybody does it really quickly. But yeah, when it comes to Dark Souls three, right? That's a game that could be no hit in fifty minutes even consistently in less than an hour, but almost nobody does that. I probably would be pretty close for the God Run because efficiency is is uh, probably... I, I was talking about it the other day. Efficiency is probably the second most important thing after consistency for doing a run like that. And and I've never done multi-game runs before, but I've done a lot of really long runs that are kind of similar. Just not between different games, right? All, all boss and no hit in this game was nine and a half hours, which is going to be longer than... Um, probably longer than the God Run 3 for me, I'd assume. And then... Oh, dude. It would help if I equipped the Great Rune. Totally forgot. Yeah, I'll play, I'll play Dark Souls Remastered. I've actually never even played the other version, Prepare to Die. How's going, Hazard? Yeah, and then all achievements no hit in Dark Souls 3 was 20. It was over 20 hours, so. And then, uh, I don't know. I've, I've done some long runs, basically. I think after that, like, the longest was definitely DS3 all achievements no hit. And then after that, Elden Ring all bosses was 9.5. And, and then after that, I think DS2 all achievements was, I think, 7 hours. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure my, my God Run 3 will take probably around 8. If you're adding up the in-game times, that is. Yeah, God Run 3 is... Uh, the list is Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, Sekiro, and Elden Ring. Although, you know, like... Oh, Sekiro is the one game that really doesn't belong in there, in my opinion, but... That's just what it is, so. Secure is the only game that has drastically different mechanics than the other ones. Okay, this all looks right. Yeah, in Dark Souls 3, I farmed the Covenants, yeah. Which I would never do again. And I'm really happy there's no farming in Elden Ring all achievements. When I did Dark Souls 2, I didn't farm, even though there's a lot less farming in Dark Souls 2 all achievements. But I still didn't. Yeah, DS3, I, I farmed for, I think, about 10 hours or so. I, I can't remember exactly. 10, it was like maybe 10 to 12 hours of farming. So the run, the actual running segments itself, or themselves, were in collecting all the rings and stuff, I think was about eight, or I think it was around nine hours. Probably shouldn't have done this, but I just well get the style kill. Yeah, I, I I basically just decided though for all achievements runs that, or for all achievements no hit runs, it's just not worth it to farm. Like, there's not a good enough reward, and just just like using cheat engine to skip the farming is I don't know. That's that's what I do, and if other people do it, it's like I I think it's it's a totally reasonable thing to do. Some people might disagree, but these are just personal challenges anyways. I think either way is fine. But I guess I've already basically done the worst farm, right? <laughs> like DS3, all achievements has the worst farm by far. So I did the worst one, and now I'm like, you know what? It's fine now. I don't have to do it anymore. Uh, I actually don't know if I ever used this. Probably want to go like that. Please names rush, but now I'm in I yeah, I think I think it's it's more complete if you do it. Oh, I'm privy to it's, it's a more legitimate run for sure. 
But I, ju I just don't think it's necessary, right? The the most fun part of of doing those runs is is routing and and figuring out all the ways to get the endings and stuff like that. The farming part, I I think it's interesting to optimize how quickly you can farm stuff because in Dark Souls Three we got like the symbol of avarice, we got the gold serpent ring, and we got like I I forget what staff or or two sages rapiers and stuff to maximize our. Uh, item discovery and so that part of it's cool but the actual just grinding part i think is really unnecessary it adds a little bit but not that much to the run but yeah let's yeah as, as i was saying though elden ring all achievements you don't have to farm so that's gonna be it's gonna be the perfect run i'm so excited to do it and we'll probably start writing that there's gonna be a lot of runs i think going at the same time probably because we're going to be doing Demon Souls no hit, but then I'll probably mix in, uh, I don't know, we can decide which one we want to do first. Do you, would you guys rather do consumable no hit, uh, or all achievements no hit first? Which one's first? We're going to do both. Which one do you guys think is better to do first? I don't know. Yeah, Elden Ring, you have to get to NG plus two. Okay, everyone's saying consumable. I, I actually have no preference. I think both of them are going to be cool. Both do grand stacks. Well, yeah, that's true, but I also have three chances to pick it up, right? Since there's three NGs that you have to beat. Both are horrible. You think they're going to be horrible? I don't, I don't think so. I think they're both going to be really fun. Any strats? Um, Sort of. There, there's some strats, I guess, but I haven't actually tested anything. There's a lot of strats on consumable no hit that you can do with Assassin's Gambit. You can cheese so many bosses with rot pots and poison pots. It's insane. It's actually insane. I'm pretty sure even like I, I think Morgot you can do it. I'm, I I think probably Horlu you can do it too. I don't know. It's wild. Basically, any boss that can be rotted that you can. Um, you can avoid triggering the boss somehow, right? So you can enter Morgoth's arena and then bone out and then re-enter with Gambit and the boss won't detect you. And so I, a boss like that, you can just, you can basically just cheese the boss 100%. And I will, I think. Unless, unless there's much better ways to do it. But it's going to be the most cheesy run you guys have ever seen, probably. Or at least for a no-hit run. A gambit you get from Bernal, um, but you can kill him for the bell bearing and then join Volcano Manor and then get it. But I think the the main way that you get it is by killing Rikard, or you just have to progress his quest line by killing, uh, like the first contract or whatever. You kill the the invader, or it's not the invader. You invade the guy in Limgrave, at the Coliseum. Original Demon Souls. I'm going to play the remake, yeah. Basically, everybody said to just play the remake, so that's what I'm going to do. Going to the Greatest Town Game Jar. I almost for sure will go to Jarburg, yeah. I'm going to need the, the Ritual Pots and the, the Cracked Pots. I, I don't know how many I can get quickly. But in Jarburg, I, yeah, there's almost no doubt I'm going to go there. Watching Force and learn how to play Elden Ring? I have not. I think I've seen, though, I've seen some YouTube videos recommended to me, though. About his, like, playthrough or something. I Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm misremembering. I'm pretty sure I have. I don't think I've, any, I've watched it, though. Oh, the Pot Talisman. I actually didn't even know that existed. There's also the, the pot helmet, right? Okay, so... Didn't mean to do that first, but...
The big thing that this weapon is missing is... Good poise damage on that Ash of War. I, I think the tap does... I actually don't know what it does, but even the full charge only does... It doesn't even do 40. It does, I think, 39 poise damage. That's what it's missing, because if, if, if that Ash of War... If, if the tap did, like, even 36 or something... Which, for how slow it is, is still not that great, but if it had that, it would this weapon would be so much better. I think it probably does- the tap probably does less than 20, even though it hits, I don't know how many times, a lot. Yeah, Thorny, I mean, yeah, if we had the, the full multi-tack setup, this thing would be a lot better. But I actually, I don't even think it needs that so badly for this run. Because it's already dealing good damage. It's just that it's, it's missing the poise damage, though. Okay, so here we want to go with this. Yeah, Slicer, I, I was actually thinking about that earlier. I think yesterday, I was thinking about Slicer and how we're going to deal with Elden Beast on that. Start with the map that has all the grace already? No, no, no. We, uh, we start this on a completely fresh character, so... Yeah, we got to do all the setup and stuff. I actually forgot. Yeah, we we don't kill uh, we don't kill Godfroy anymore on this because it's we don't use the, the full charge Ash of War enough. Let's go in KC. Yeah, Elden Beast, dude. I I Slicer is really good DPS, but it doesn't have the poise damage to kill Elden Beast without a poise break and we don't we can't use flame of the red mains anymore so we're, we're gonna have to actually figure something out and I don't know what it is yet I'll worry about that when we get there though okay so here we do tap ash of war into double charge r2 it's the kill yeah I did just use flame of red mains dude surely what's up m64 yeah maybe fits yeah that's probably the first thing to check. I, don't, I actually don't know what happens here if my buffs run out, so hopefully he doesn't do this to me. Yeah, I don't know what to do for Elden Beast. Because you definitely, you want to, the main thing is you do want to avoid Elden Stars, right? That's that's the main thing. And it is, you can dodge Elden Stars. And maybe I'll just do it. I don't know. Uh, Matt, thanks for the 23 month prime sub, dude. Welcome back. Allow me, you are unable to prevent the thorn. Thanks, man. The only way and become my pup. So I'd like you to the flame then and guide. Yeah, maybe that's the play, dude. Maybe just dodge it. And, and roll the dice. Because the the concern isn't actually the Elden Stars necessarily. And that, that you know, dodging Elden Stars is really easy to do. Especially on the first cast, it's, it's really easy to do it. It's just that there's some RNG with combinations of attacks that can get you hit. Um... But it's not it's not a high chance though, so maybe we just like roll the dice, dude. I don't know. We just do that. But Slicer should be able to get him basically to half HP right away on the opening sequence, even without a stun. When we were doing it on sorcery, it was, it was really close to half already. Bloodhound step. Uh Mm, I don't know. I am actually not certain. I haven't used Bloodhound Step on Elden Beast since it got nerfed. Do 
Do I use? No, I, I don't. I don't think I use uh, an exalted flesh anywhere. How much poise damage the slicer? It's not a lot. It's not enough to poise break him. I mean, think about it. Even if it did ten, which it doesn't, then it'd still take fifteen hits to poise break him. So. Yeah, Blood on Seth got, got nerfed, like, ages ago. What was it, on 105 or something? Yeah, and the reason why it was, it was good in PvE wasn't even necessarily because it was good at dodging stuff, because it still is. Obviously, it's got less iframes now, but... It's still really useful for dodging things. But the reason why it was so useful is because it was it was faster than sprinting. So you would just bloodhound step everywhere. And you'd be going way faster. At this point though, there's no reason to use it over quick step, in my opinion. Because you're not really gonna be using bloodhound step to move quickly anymore. And it has the same iframes as quick step, so. Yeah, exactly, Raphmel, yeah. That was great, dude. That's actually so funny. Yeah, there was a... For people who don't know, there's a, like, a speedrunning bounty that we were in uh, earlier this year. And I basically... I, um... I don't know. People were running it for a while. It was a month-long bounty. People were running it. And then I came in pretty late. And I started using a route with Bloodhound Step. And, like, nobody really considered to use it before for speedrunning to try to move more quickly. But So I started using it. And then maybe I'm not telling the entire story. But basically, people really did not like it. And then they're also... Whoa, that was kind of close. There also uh, was the thing with quitting out, right? So quitting out's allowed usually in speedruns, right? So... There's a glitch in the game. I, I don't even know if it's a glitch, but it, it's definitely unintended. That's still in the game, by the way. Um, where if you quit out with Godric's Great Rune, you get a ton of FP and HP back. And so, yeah, so I started using the Bloodhound Step route. And every time I quit out, which I didn't really abuse, by the way. I didn't really abuse the quitting out stuff. But, I don't know, people were concerned that we were going to use the Bloodhound Step route, which is significantly faster than just sprinting everywhere and we're talking we're talking like five minutes faster overall or more which is really big um so yeah people were concerned that like people were just gonna spam quit outs and bloodhound stuff all the time and uh yeah i don't know i became the villain of the bounty basically but i still like came in third place and there's this big like controversy about about you know changing the rules because the, yeah apparently they had some they you know people made like this and, and lucy made some agreement that they just wouldn't do that but i don't know it was, it was really stupid and of course when there's money involved everything gets worse uh no distortion won it yeah it was it's it actually like very childish when that happened like i i came in with just clearly better route and i i think since people were running it for a while and they already had, you know, pretty established times and they were used to the route. They just didn't want to change. And, uh, and yeah. And then, yeah, so, so yeah, the glitch, basically, I, I agree that it's really shitty that the glitch is still in the game. I still think even without the glitch, which, with the glitch with Godric's Great Rune, the Bloodhound step route was still way faster and I was still using it. Um... But I think people would have still been upset about it. Like, either way. So. Just because, yeah, I, I think they just didn't want to, like, change what they were doing. Oh, God. <sighs> Ooh, this is... A, that was such a bad time for that. I gotta... Restart my browser. It's so weird that this still happens, dude. 
Could have fixed this. My chat has crashed, so I can't see anything you guys are saying right now. But yeah, so then I, I I think what ended up happening was I actually can't remember if they if they implemented a rule like within the last few days of the bounty because I I I'm not somebody who can grind runs for a long time. I just don't like doing it. I like doing other things and not feeling like I'm wasting my time just grinding the same thing over and over again. And so, yeah, with that bounty, I started with probably a week remaining. Okay, I should be able to restart my chat now. I started with probably a week remaining. And, and that's when I started doing that route and stuff. And so, yeah, I think they, they might have said that they were going to check runs. And there was a big meme about recalculation. So, basically, Sardos said that um, I, I actually should go back and look in the Discord. I'm, it's still there, but something along the, uh, along the lines of if you were abusing it and you already submitted a time, your run would be recalculated or something. <laughs> and I think I was the only person whose run was actually using Bloodhound Step to get everywhere. It was, just, it was just a total disaster, dude. And of course, since I was the one who like first was doing it, and I, I, again, I wasn't even exploiting the FP regeneration. Um, and, and generally what I did actually is I would drink my, my flask before quitting out so that I, I didn't regenerate. But I don't know. It was a total fiasco. It, basically, it was a clinic by Sardosha of how to not organize a, a, an event like that. Yeah, and then people... Yeah, speaking of money, people... Only got paid recently. Uh, and, and that bounty was... How many months ago? That bounty was... Does anybody remember? Is that in, like, April or March? Yeah, only got paid, I mean, like, this month. So, <laughs> like, it's just insane. And when Dis hosted his bounty, the rules were really good, and he paid immediately. Yeah, it's just a total disaster, dude. It's, it's actually very refreshing to, to go into, like, Zero Hit League where, you know, obviously Zero Hit League isn't perfect. But, um, in, in terms of the, you know, the people receiving feedback like Hob and Glance and stuff, they were just so good with that, you know? And I'm looking forward to next Zero Hit League because that was a lot of fun, dude. But yeah, it was really refreshing doing Zero Hit League after some of that fiasco yo gil uh thanks for the brand new prime sub dude i appreciate it yeah i i'm planning on being in the bingo league as well i feel like man i i i'm i might have to practice for that dude i don't really want to but i might have to because all the all the other people that are in it are just or that I know of that are in it at this point, just do bingo all the time. And so I'm going to be... Let's go and start Harmony, by the way. I'm going to be uh, a little behind, I think. But bingo is all about game knowledge, and same with Amit League, to be fair. It's actually a very similar skill set. You know, having to adapt to stuff, and obviously knowing how to fight bosses is important, but then also having just the knowledge to be able to do the tasks that are required is very important, which I think I... My game knowledge is okay, but it can be a lot better. So. How is it called Omit League? It's because, so it's called Zero Hit League. But I think on the first day of season one, when everything was being like shown for the first time, the, the actual like Zero Hit logo, it looked like it said Omit instead of Zero Hit. And so people started calling it Vomit League. basically how it happened. Okay, so we've got sleep pots, which is good. Yeah, that's why it's Omit League, and then, I don't know. 
Amit League was too long. I definitely think it was too long, yeah. I want to actually mine some endurance here. Do I need anything else, though? Yeah, I mean, this season was definitely too long. But I, I think they were saying that next season might be basically half the length and then have some sort of playoffs, which I think is good. All right, setup is looking decent, I think. Man, I, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've been on autopilot this entire fucking time. I, I just realized we we're at Fire Giant already. I'm just not even sure what's going on here. Jesus, dude. It actually just, like, I just registered that we're at Fire Giant. Oh, yeah, I didn't use Red Feather, dude. It's okay. I don't need it. Red Feather, though, would allow us to get a scripted kill here. I just totally forgot. Oh. Okay. I, I don't know what's happening here. Oh, boy. Yeah, I, I whiffed. It's, it's actually really difficult to hit. Oh. Really difficult to hit the uh, the full Ash of War on the leg. Is that some of the reason why I didn't do as much damage there is because the, uh, I missed the weak point. But I should be able to salvage this still. Of course, if you fire breaths, I just bone out and we do it again. No way, dude. Definitely not ideal. If I had hit the eye there, this would have been over. But. That was a nice RNG, at least. He didn't, uh, didn't fire breath me. Yeah, that's too bad that I, I, I just totally forgot to go set up Red Feather. Yeah, with Red, Red Feather there, um, I probably still wouldn't have gotten a good kill because I botched the leg hits, but at least last time, when we were doing this run last time, I got a, I got a scripted phase two with Red Feather. Doing basically the exact same thing I did. Just I didn't mess up the leg hits and so I didn't get an early stun. I ties in the chain. I'm pretty sure I've seen people lose no hit runs to that chain before. Pretty sure I've seen that, and I definitely almost have. I remember during the uh during the subathon a few months ago, or whenever that was. I remember I <laughs> Do you guys remember that? I was I was basically asleep while fighting Fire Giant, and I, I cannot remember the fight. 
I didn't remember the fight after I'd done it because I was sleeping. I, well, I think. I don't know. I'd been up for a long time. And, uh... <laughs> and, like, I basically... I, I think I was walking up it, and I just... I, I was getting a drink of water. I tried to wake myself up, and I just fell off. I just... That was... I don't know. It was, it was funnier at the time, I think. I think there's a clip of it somewhere. Um, where am I going? Oh, yeah. Let's go get Red Feather. Yo, Depot, thanks for the 19-month Prime sub, dude. Or, or, yeah, I, like, what did I do? I I was half asleep, and I was trying to get a drink of water, and I was just laughing for some reason, because I, I think, because I thought I was sleeping or something. I don't, I, I, I just don't remember. But then, uh, <laughs> but then, I, I think I, I almost walked off, and I was, I, I was actually laughing because I almost walked off, or something, and then, <laughs> and then I walked off the other, I, I, I have to show you guys the I can't remember it, dude. I was I was very sleep deprived when that happened. I think it was on the last maybe it was on the last day of the subathon or something and I I don't know. I was pretty tired. Let me see this clip here. Is this the clip? <laughs> Dude, look at me right now. I, my eyes are literally closed. I, I'm pretty sure I was asleep here. Oh, you guys can't see me. Let me, uh... Let me just hide myself really quick. I'm pretty sure I was sleeping right here. <laughs> and I, I killed the boss. And then after the fight, I, I literally could not remember that I felt like what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, this was 100 and, like 155 hours in, dude. Dude, I totally was a dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was great, dude. That was a nice one. That was really good. That was great. Yeah, it was 155 hours in, dude. So. Yeah, that's pretty bad. But it wasn't a no hit run or anything. I was just I was just playing the game. And I'm pretty sure I killed Fire Giant when I was asleep. Because we were using, like, Seppuku, and I didn't really have to do anything except just hit L1 the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was I was saying... I definitely remember saying that I, I had, like, plenty left in the tank on that day, dude. The Copium tank. It's like, man, I got, I got, like, 20 more hours in the tank for sure. And then that happened, and... All downhill from there. Uh, 603 is decent, but we do need 25 arcane, so I'm going to get that. Yeah, it's because, yeah, <laughs> I literally fell asleep after killing the boss, and then I just, I, uh, yeah, I was just, I was just holding the controller, and, and that's the direction I was going, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that big slow circle, dude. That was so bad. I think that's the first time I've ever slept on stream like that. Like, there's, I, I'm pretty sure, even during the last subathon, I didn't go for as long, so. I definitely did not fall asleep like that. And I'm, I'm getting tired even just thinking about when that happened. <laughs> Getting sleepy just thinking about it. I 
I'm sure we'll do another one of those eventually. But yeah, so what I did for that, what I did for the subathon though, people were requesting runs for me to do, sort of like this, but just with normal builds. And then I think we ended up doing 50 runs in a couple days. I, I can't remember how long the, it went for, but probably it was around 210 hours or so. But I, I would sleep at night. I would sleep for a few hours, uh, but yeah, not obviously not enough. Uh, Tony, thanks for the two month prime sub, dude. Welcome back. <laughs> that, that or the hob ace clip. Yeah, I, I don't know. They're both pretty good. It's going to exoit. In action. Yeah, that was pretty fun. It, it's fun to do those marathons sometimes, but... Man, I was so tired. Like, I, I could have easily at that point just fallen asleep and been out for a good couple hours just sitting there. Easily. I, I think I might have slept shortly after that happened because my... The problem with that subathon was there was a big internet outage across Canada. And, uh... Like, legitimately a huge internet outage where easily over half the country didn't have internet or, like, phone service. And so that interrupted, and then I got a whole day break in between. It kind of ruined it a little bit. But but now I'm I'm not with that internet provider. So, yeah, I'm, I'm with Bell now, and I've literally had zero issues since I switched. So... What's up, I'm a, a, I'm a Deus. How's it going, dude? Uh, a latch an R. <laughs> I'm, dude, I'm, I'm tired now. Just, I'm thinking about the subathon and I'm just tired from it already. Yeah, thanks for the brand new Prime sub, dude. Yeah, we'll do another one of those. Uh, maybe next year at some point. I have to think of some idea for it, though. not really sure what I would do because I, I don't want to just do some I don't know some lame subathon where I stream for a while and then I just I, don't know, I do I like eat beans or something like that <laughs> like I don't know I, I want to do something that's that's challenging for me to do and my first subathon I ever did I we did Dark Souls 3 and uh, I did I basically the challenge was to get from level 1 to 802 and I did it in like five days, I think. Then this one was initially it was going to be 100 playthroughs, but then we changed it to 50 and then people just started requesting the builds for it. Okay, I think we just do recharge our twos, if I'm not mistaken. And then tap L2 here. It actually looks about the same as a fully charged, but maybe it's a bit better. But yeah, we'll have to think of some idea for the next one, though. And I, I don't know what. I haven't thought about that. I, I've got too many things to think about right now. We've got the God Run 3, and we've got, like... Consumable Run, All Achievements Run... Way too much to think about <laughs> and for that, or to start thinking about that. This does have a great God's Can Do O Kill. Yeah, I meant like the, the Bean Boozled, right? Or whatever it is called. We'll do that hot chip. Ch Somebody called me out on YouTube, actually. I, I guess, um, I forget what run I was talking about that in doing the hot chip challenge or something. And I basically said that it wouldn't be interesting if I did it. Because I could take it. And somebody called me out, so I feel like I have to do it now. Where do I get my hands on the hot chip? <laughs> Buy the hot chip off Amazon? Every time I get hit, I eat the hot chip. Reaper, thanks for the brand new sub as well. Thanks so much, dude. 
Yeah, how does that sound, dude? Every time, Subathon, every time I, I get hit, I eat the hot chip. Every time. Yo, uh, Anthony, thanks for the 100 bits. Thanks so much. Okay, here we aim it through the birds, of course. Yeah, I don't I don't know if my stomach like I don't think my stomach will like that very much. But. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll do it. Oh god, I Oh boy. Okay. The fucker, it's because the, there was lightning on the side and so I couldn't take the proper path. Blindfold challenge, like a like a blindfolded playthrough. I um, I don't know. I I think blindfolded runs they take so much time. Doing the bosses isn't too bad, but doing a full blindfolded playthrough is. I don't think I would. Well, I don't know. I don't think I would do that in this game. It's too much time. Even in Dark Souls Three, I was routing blindfolded. Um, but it takes an it takes an absurd amount of time. And yeah, this game being open world and stuff. I don't know. If somebody does that one day, that would be insane. That'd actually be just totally wild. <laughs> yeah, blindfolded mountaintops. And you just have no way to know where you are. But... Usually the, the strategies with those types of runs is you have... Set inputs that you do so that you you know where you are. And then you can also use... Um, like you want to be using the terrain. Or just or something to basically tell you where you are. And so in Sekiro, it's, it's really straightforward, right? Because um, obviously blindfold is not easy to do. But there are people like Aggie and... And, and, you know, others that were doing, um, like, blindfolded speedruns, right? In Sekiro. And it's because of the grappling. Yeah, Mitch. Uh, yeah, Mitch is, I probably has the record for it at this point, but it's because grappling, and there was a lot of ways that you could sort of um, just know exactly where you were. And still really difficult. But when you have those those landmarks at base where your location off of, it's way easier to, to complete it. But man, in, in Elden Ring, you've got almost nothing, right? An open world game, there's obviously no grappling. Got like graces and that's basically it. Doors and stuff. Even in Dark Souls 3, I was trying to route it, it's extremely hard. I did route all the way up to, I, I just as a little sample, I routed up until getting the high wall and I could do it consistently. But that was only the first, that was the tutorial, dude. So, yeah. Um, I think this is good. Oh, got to split. I think we're good here. We're we talking about a blindfolded run. Oh yeah, Sekiro is way shorter as well, for sure. And even the bosses would be way easier to fight, I think. The, the dude number five. Thanks so much for the brand new Prime sub. Thanks so much, dude. Uh, let's see. So we want to go with this one. I think I remember the kill. Let's 
So let's go with uh, this one. Let me just remember it again. So we do... Phase one is obvious. And then phase two, I think we do... Gun blades, charger two, tap R2, tap R2, repost. I believe. Yeah, so the last attempt we got hit on on Horlu, and I think the the first attempt of this run we got hit here, and then yeah, the second was Horlu. So now we're back past Malaketh. We do need some stuff for this fight though. We need sleep pot and then two poison. So 60, 60 strength, and then let's go. Uh, what do I go with here? Probably just. Endurance and Arcane, I think. That's probably good. Do a Daedric sword run, like in Skyrim? Or are you, are you talking about some other weapon? an Elder Scrolls Daedric sword run. Sleep. So this strat, you need 30 arcane for it, unfortunately. But, of course, we are using a an arcane scaling weapon, so it makes sense. For this. Uh, Flipwell, thanks for the three-month resub. Welcome back. Incredible amount of concentration... Well, yeah, with, with no hit runs, there's a lot of just muscle memory, right? Like, you do a lot of practicing at the start, but then a lot of the stuff just becomes automatic at a certain point. Or you just don't have to think about it. Like with anything, right? Any skill. Uh, this is all good, I think. So, it's backstab, sleep, poison. Hard to two backstab, sleep. I actually have done Skyrim runs, though, before. Uh, Der Henich, thanks for the brand new Prime sub as well. My oldest YouTube video, my oldest YouTube video is uh, probably my first no hit run in Dark Souls Three, I think. Except a lot of my a lot of my older YouTube videos, I would have had um, like copyrighted music in it, so they might be blocked in certain countries or a lot of it muted or something. Not sure if that one is or not. we go. Yeah, we have to do that because Gideon can roll out of the of this Ash of War. 
Like only the first couple hits are guaranteed, and so if we if we use the poison there, we guarantee we have enough damage to kill him like that. But yeah, it's a nice little uh, cheese you can do with them with the sleep there. There's a lot of ways to cheese Gideon, actually. Uh, Joe, what's up, dude? Uh, the next run after this is supposed to be Carrion Slicer. So we already did a sorcery where we use Carrion Slicer a little bit, but yeah, the next the next one's supposed to be like only Carrion Slicer, basically. All right, Horlu. So I, I actually I think we're gonna set up Red Feather here. Might as well. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. It's it's gonna be a matter of figuring out LMBs. That's that's it. That's the whole run basically. That was actually a really nice RNG fight there. We got a the perfect stun on the transition. Like I kind of figured that he might stun there, but I wasn't 100% sure. Um, okay, let's get... Damage definitely scales way better with Arcane here, but some Endurance is really nice on Elden Beast, and... Oh, you know what? I just realized we didn't practice Elden Beast, and I don't exactly remember the kill for him, but... It's probably okay. But we do have to go kill the, uh, we have to kill the avatar first. Avatar, we need the, we need the poise damage tier. And I'm pretty sure I don't need red feather for this, right? Or I'm just going to do it anyways, because I think when I tested it earlier, we used it. I'm pretty certain I don't need it though. Yeah, I gotta use Dragon Red on Elden Beast, you're right, so that he uh, doesn't fly away from me. That's a good point. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm actually not gonna use Golden Vow no matter what, I think, Aram, but... Actually, you know what? Yeah, I guess I could. 
But I, I, I think I just won't, no matter what. We don't need it. Alright, so... With this one... Actually, wait. Go with that one. This one... mess that up. Actually, I was slightly too early there somehow. I was slightly too early. At least I recognized it, right? If, if I if I didn't recognize that, I was totally toast right there, dude. But yeah, I, I realized right away as to uh, probably a couple frames too early. Yeah, you have to hit him at a pretty specific time, or else, uh... Oh, so you don't get as much time. And apparently, yeah, I mean, apparently... I haven't actually tested it, but apparently if you wait even longer, you get more time or something. I don't really understand it, but... I haven't tested it out, but this, this does give us enough time, so... I don't think there's any reason why this should be messed up now. Yeah, pretty certain I don't need Red Feather there. He only had a tiny bit of HP remaining. Okay, so... The kill... So, first of all, Radagon's actually really hard on this run. He's a... He's a... We don't deal very good damage. So we gotta worry about that first, but Elden Beast is, uh... We do four Charge R2s. The last one I delay into two... One fully charged Ashivore, one tap Ashivore into repost into Charger 2, Charger 2, I believe, right? Yeah, Radagon's actually the hardest boss on this run, I think. Uh, we are plus 10, I believe, yeah. Should be. Okay, let me just think about this. So, after Radagon kill, we drink the Physic and Flame Grant Strength. We don't actually need Vow. Unless I kill him with an R1. If I kill him with an R1, then I can use Vow. But that's kind of just the last priority thing to use. Okay.
Dude, what even was that? That was really bad. I did a... Uh, I, I think that was a follow-up charger too. Because I was I was crouching and so I was like insanely slow to get there. Yeah, that's too bad. That was really good uh, riding on RNG. It was totally wasted. I'm pretty certain I gave the second crouch input, but I guess I don't know what happened to it. Got eaten somewhere. Crouch stamina did get removed, but you, you still can do it to recover more quickly from an attack. But yeah, there's actually there's actually no reason for me to do it here. But it gives me a little bit more stamina to work with. Which is why I do that. That's too bad, but do it again. Oh my god, I thought he was teleporting on top of me there. I thought he had it queued up. Oh, dude, that was so fucking close right there. That's insane. All right, we did it. Man, that was like, that was like, I don't even, probably like five frames away from catching me right there. Jesus, dude. All right, at least we did it though. Man, that was, uh, that was really scuffed. There we go. Yeah, I think, I think the reason that was so scuffed is just because it, it's been... Like, my timings are a little off because I haven't played in a while. Like, five days since we did our last attempt, but... Oh, boy, that... I... If, if that if that tap didn't kill, I was getting hit. Like, it was over. Uh, I was going to do the action war to finish. Usually, I would, but I didn't there because we had a little bit too much damage to go because I did the... I did the, the charge R2 when he was swimming way too late, and so it was only a tap R2. Man, that was close. But yeah, we did it. GG, guys. First try today. No resets. Uh, but yeah, Millennia's X, thanks for the five gifted subs. And uh, Mad King, thanks for the six month resub as well. Mad, thanks for the five gifted subs as well. Thanks so much, dude. And Wellcry, thanks for the six month prime. Yeah, there we go, you guys. GG. Nice. This weapon, um, I actually think the more we used it, the more I started to like it. I think it's not bad. It, it, it had some really good kills, like Malaketh kill was really nice, God's Duo kill is nice. The Fire Giant kill, if I didn't mess it up, is really, really nice, but it's just a little precise. The fallen leaves. 
I mean, it's just the the boss is the weakest on his Radagon, but we had two nice Radagon fights there, so. But yeah, not bad. Not too bad. In our home. So I guess what we'll do now is we'll probably start routing Slicer, right? Let's just see what's going on here with the the requests. I think there's only one more run, you guys. That's actually difficult. Uh, that one's done. Pure Magic Caster, we actually already did. So yeah, only three left. Slicer should not be too hard. We just need to figure out Ellen Beast. Uh, Marcus Hammer, that's going to be difficult, I think. And then Eleanor Pole Blade shouldn't be too bad since we get all the all the starting good stuff. How's going, Ozzy, by the way? Yeah, we got all the good stuff for that. So I, I think it just comes down to the Marcus Hammer, which we've already done... We've already done, I think, two hammers so far, right? Or is it only one? Maybe it's only one, but we've also used holy weapons already. There's no way it's going to be worse than Halo Scythe. So, yeah, we'll see. Getting loose has to have a slicer. Yeah, th I, there's actually going to be some things we got to figure out. That is true. All right, let's see our in-game time, and then we'll start routing. I, I'm not going to stream for insanely long today, you guys, but let's go on Teal. Yeah, this weapon's not bad, though. If you did combine the other multi-hit stuff, it would be... Like, that Elden Beast hit would be so big. But it already was pretty big without it, so... Uh, Shy Show, thanks for the four-month prime. Welcome back. 223, so that's really slow because I just messed a lot of things up, basically. Yeah, GG, you guys. This one will be on YouTube pretty soon. Hopefully people like the, the timer that's there, but... Here we go. Not bad. And uh, Powerful, thanks for the, the four-month resub as well. Yeah, Hammers got nerfed in the latest patch. Or, or at least their Charger 2s got nerfed. So when we did the, the Ringed Finger run, we had over 40 poise damage per Charger 2. Uh, Lauren, thanks, dude. Welcome back, man. But yeah, now they're back to 39.6. And so that's, that's a big difference, right? Because we're no longer going to be two-hit stunning like Morgoth and Margit and a lot of bosses, so... But let's start uh, Slicer only, though. I, I should probably make some new splits for this. I'm really happy I didn't mess it up at the end of the run, dude. I almost did. 